Ladies and gentlemen, what's going on? Uh, we're, let's get back to uh, our Kirby in the Amazing Mirror gameplay. Last episode, we did two bosses. I wasn't even planning on going to the boss, and I just wan wan wandered into his room because sometimes it, it's kind of hard to go, you know, to go there. But I guess Mustard Mountain was just kind of a straight path. So, but let's get to the uh, the next area. Why isn't the sound working for you? There we go. Mouse off. You can see the mouse. Bring it over here. If you guys are joining us, you know, newer, you'll see I have cookie clicker on the side because most Game Boy games play in a 4x3 layout. But yeah, we got we got two shards of the mirror in the first episode. Like 26, what, 27 minutes? That's pretty decent. So, I mean, I, we're just going. We're going for more of the levels, and I'm not. I'm not. Trust me. I'm. I'm I enjoy speed. I enjoy speed running some games. I'm not speed running. I was just going through, and it was just. Oh, yeah. I guess we're at a boss level. I think that unlocks the. I believe I have to be the wheel to get, get past there. Where, where does this take? I think I want to be on the left side of my room. Takes us to. Still says Rainbow Rap, but I forget what this is. Something cavern. Bang bang. It's telling us to. Generally, you know. Like items ahead of time will like show you, hey, you're gonna want this guy for an upcoming level. Like I said in the last episode, some to get to some places you're gonna need some specific items. And it's always good to at least have something that is powerful and can get you know, get where you need. Get to where you need. Like that burning guy. Same, it does the same thing. It does a different ability, but it has the same, like, environmental ability of, like, getting around, breaking through the, uh, metal blocks. No oh, damn. Yep, there it goes. Well, I'll just take you. I actually think this is, uh, one of the gate, gate doors right here, if I remember correctly, so I'm gonna go through it. It's, if it's not this one right here, it's the one above us. You know, I'm, it may sound like I just know this game, and I'm very surprised that my brain is just, like, giving me this random memory. Yep. Giving me this random information that I don't need to know. So it's been... What, uh... I don't know, maybe... Like, I think the last time I played all the way through was maybe freshman year of college. And I remember talking to my RA about it, trying to like get multiplayer going, because this is this this can be a four-player game. You can get uh, you see all your you know your green, your red, and your yellow guys that are on call. You can have up to four people playing on the world. Okay, so this is still Rainbow Route. Um, I'm gonna want to go to Area 3 or Area 5. I don't remember if Mustard Mountain is Area 5, and if it is, I don't need to go to Mustard Mountain anymore unless I want an ability. Or if Mustard Mountain can take us to somewhere we have to go. Because there's like multiple different areas. There's eight or nine different areas. I don't know if, if it's one for each shard. I think there might be one area that doesn't have a shard. But, um... Shoot, this might be another portal right here. No. But it takes us back to... where we want to go to if we can get to 
area three down below. Mushroom Mountain is area four, so area five would be fine. I think this is gonna take me to a goal if I can't get to where I want to go to. So I need to keep keep this. It's gonna be our little secret tool that'll help us later on. Because now I'm getting forced to go here. Because if I don't go to the right door, it's gonna it's gonna take me to uh, a goal area, which is pretty much. I mean, they're useless, but you can get power ups. Okay, I need to do that. Might as well grab Fireman while we're at it. Yeah, definitely if I go right, it's going to take me down to the goal, which I don't want. Okay, Cabbage Cavern. Yeah, no, I called it. I knew it was called something cavern. And in the water, you, can, you can't use any of the power-ups, except for the sword one, I believe. I think that's another portal right there. I can remember correctly. I like the gate. Nope. I can't. See? Me and my big mouth sometimes. I'm getting close to one, I believe. Okay, so that, like this thing, I would need a hammer or something, or a stone. Stone power up to, like, break that. I'm not trying to lose you. It's either this level or one of the upcoming levels is where the new cab Cabbage Cavern gate is. No, I know I'm coming up to it, I just don't know which, which one it is. Those spiky guys, those those guys are invincible, so it's, it's not worth touching them. Eventually I'll get like a haul of items, or like abilities, so I can just walk up into the place. And be like, yeah, I want this item to go get this, or go to this area. For this place. I don't know how what you, you either need to beat the game, this is definitely it. You either need to beat the game or you need to do something. I'm dumb again. You need to do something to get it like get it going. Okay, I need to walk carefully. I also want you. I wanna see what's over here. Now, now that we have this ability. But this guy, UFO, he does it all, man. You can charge up, and it'll break. Like, that would break all of the blocks. I have this ability. I can, fly, I can literally fly around, do whatever I want. And I can shoot a little beam if I just want to do the, uh... Instead of, like, charging it, I can just do... I have to hold it for a second. Because if I don't hold it, it'll just do this. Trying to die immediately. And the dude just didn't want anything to do with me, which is fine. I can't do the hammer thing, unfortunately. I keep going to try and find where this portal is. Where this gate is. Because you can use those gates to, you know, start at the area rather than starting over from where you started at a different gate. And that's it, you know, the one time I didn't call it. Give me one sec, I actually need to cough. I've, I still have some kind, if you guys don't know, I have some kind of cough that I've been having for like five weeks now. I went to the doctor on Monday, and they said it could be a bacterial thing, so I'm on some antibiotics, but I don't want to cough on camera anymore, because I'm sure you guys, if you guys watched Mug, you can still hear it on a couple of the episodes, so. Uno momento while you watch me cough on mute. Much better. Uh, now we have the, the burning guy, which we'll get us what we need. Area 8 
his radish rooms. The boss for this area, if it's not the other guy, is, is pretty hard. Okay, so like this guy, I can't do anything because... Sometimes those things regrow and I don't want them to regrow. Can't go. Gotta go where they want me to go. Oh, damn. Well, that's unfortunate, because I really wanted this guy. Well, I've got to ditch him. I'm sure that would have taken me to somewhere good. And blocks that. Those guys, uh, you can't suck them up. If you suck them up, they'll turn evil. So that's the hammer boss, actually. So that's how I can get a uh, hammer effect or the hammer ability. So I'll, I'll, I'll just show you guys. So like if I... Okay, we'll kill him. You're supposed to, if you try and suck him up, he'll turn evil and he'll, try and he'll come after you, essentially. Can't see where I am. He might take me to the middle. Those guys have used another portal game. Beautiful. Um, he takes us. It's kind of confusing. Which is, this leads us back to Cabbage Canyon portal gate. It's kind of confusing. So, like, some portal gates connect to other portal gates within the portal gate itself. So, like, I can go here. But I can also go down to here, which is the next area, I believe. Yeah, Radish Ruins. I go for Sword. Which way did I come from? I don't know, I mean, like, you see the square, and that's why I always thought the square was, uh, like, the boss area, but we weren't even close to the boss area, like, in, uh, Mustard Mountain. Okay, this is where I came from. Let's see what takes us this way. Missile guy. I, don't know, I always feel like if they're if they're showing it off to me, I might need it. You just casually walk into all the uh, enemies real quick. Like that. We'll just be fighter because that's what they want. It shows me the moves. Side B, side side B, charge B. I don't know if the charge B can break the blocks. Maybe, but I doubt it. Taking me somewhere I can't go back. Thankfully, 
the lives put you right back where you were. But if I run out to zero, it uh, resets me back to like the start. So like not the start of the whole game, but yeah, this is a goal area. So like these big ones. So I guess it didn't matter. It shoots me off to a goal. And you, yeah, you can get stuff like health, points, battery charges. One, there's one should be ones up flying, one up flying around. And this is the singular dance that I would have. Gone this way. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I have. Go back to Radish Ruins on the left side. Sometimes they'll have the flashing like this surrounding, because I don't think I've gone to gone to this area. Either a lot in this level or something. Or it's my computer, you know, my graphics card just can't take the Game Boy's power. You have to time it, so like I'll time it to like here and time it to here. These guys will give me those guys will give me kisses and make me like lose my power. Bunch of different guys. Like these guys don't do anything really boys. They don't give me any ability because I just kill them. Neither neither do Bronto birds. Oh, that was the edge of the map there. Another ability that the fire guy and the burning guy can do. Let me see if I can call on my friends so to help me uh, help me light this match. You do something, why don't you? Yeah, it'll shoot me off to a different area. Whether I want to go to or not. I did choose that I wanted to go here, so. Oh, there goes that. Oh, no, there's a bottom. Now it's gone. 
I think this is a goal area. This looks like a boss arena right here. Boxy's a pretty shitty, like, not shitty, but like annoying. She's a pretty annoying one. I think she gives you magic, which is pretty cool, actually. Yeah, magic is a good one. Er, am I thinking of something different? As you can see, now I got the random. There's a different magic ability. Did I get magic again? I did literally got magic again. What are the odds of that? Sword. It's a good ability right there. Yep, there's a goal. Try and get health here. But yeah, you can see if you don't have the maps, uh, you're kind of sore out of luck. I just got a bunch of one-ups there. Ow. There are a lot of one-ups on this goal area. Yeah, you see the one on the left doesn't have the circle around it, but now I guess it did. One to the right did. Okay, we've been here. This is how we got here. Place we haven't been to up here. Yeah, now just see me casually just shitting, getting shit on. those spinners and this cute guy so I can fly around but you can also just fly around on your own. Where did the oh, that's it. Okay. Do I have any like C So this will take me up way up there. Okay. Okay, this is going to take me to a new area. Can I break that with the fire over here? Well, I can directionally aim where the, uh, the fire goes. Yep, there we go. More food. I know, I, this, this level looks familiar, so I know that we're getting closer to the gate. I don't know if we're getting... Oh, well, here's the gate. The level of opening, you know, the uh, episode of opening gates, essentially. That's top right. Right above, okay. I think top right is Mustard Mountain. Because that level... Oh yeah, Mustard Mountain, either, either this is Mustard Mountain up here, or this is the space level, which is where you can get a lot of UFOs easily. Mustard Mountain actually like, might be like a thing up here. Um, yeah, I think I'll find what I have. This is a four way connection, I know. Or a three way connection, it looks like. So, area four. Is that. That's Mustard Mountain. I really. I don't really need to go back. Oh! 
now that I think I think I know what the uh, squares are, I think the squares show me where the maps are, maybe. So if they're not the boss, and if they're not the uh, gates, that must be what they are. I think I'm actually going towards the gate, if I remember. It's up on this side. Yeah, this is it. Yep. So now I have the gate for Mustard Mountain. There we go. So now this can help me, like, see other places. Like, Area 9 is a space place, I believe. No idea how to get from there. But at least we have it for that. Another door over here, I believe, or there's something over here. Okay, this, I believe this is, depending on where I go, this could take me to area 9, but I don't want to go to this goal. If we go to the goal, we'll end the episode. If not, we'll keep going until I get to another gate or a boss or something. I need the burning to go to wherever that was going to take me. So hopefully that's, I mean, it's still, it's still all the same place. So we're fine. Oh, I gotta be fast with that. Trying to like double tap sprint. We call them the call them the homies. All right, go over there and stand on that plate. Come on, guys. Just stand right there. And do that. Please. Far can I reach? Damn it, man! I guess I'm not going there. Okay, now we're back to the real lava lava area of mustard man. We missed whatever was over there. That's Cook. That's pretty funny. I don't want to get caught in his roast. Okay, so yeah, what what direction did I take to like go directly to the boss? I mean, I guess it was either gonna lead me to level, lead me to the boss, or lead me to area one. So I mean, I guess there was no way to not get there. We did it. Now I'm just trying to not get to the goal. I'm trying to get to the next area. I think area nine is the only place without a boss. Fan Fan just gives you throw. It's kind of a cool ability. Actually, it might be more useful than I think if I'm able to throw things into the silver. Like the silver blocks that you have to have specific things for. So like I have I have that block now I can throw it. I wonder if I can use that to go along the silver. The silver blocks. It was only a one-up. We have 17. Okay, this is the make or break point. I have to get to the top side. Oh no. I did not notice that there was no floor there. I'm able to do something with stone. 
mini. Let's see before we, uh, so let's see what's over here. I think, I think we are gonna need it. Hopefully this is not just a troll on the two teams. Now I'm in Kirby. Hopefully it's not gonna take us somewhere stupid. It's not gonna take us in the direction of the goal. Okay, we're chilling, we're chilling. Oh, that'll die. I believe that's a, a throw boss. Yeah, it is a throw boss. He's like Fan Fan. I don't have any help. I think he can jump up to where I am. Or no, he's fighter. Instead of... And death. Just crushes Kirby. And all of his bones. That little snap sound was just, you know... And all of Kirby's gelatinous bones. That should have been able to. The abilities, like the stars that uh, you can shoot out yourself from getting hit or that they produce, um, they do more damage than your like ability that you have already. Okay, so this is Area 9, which is the space area. Candy Constellation. Can Candy. Candy Constellation. I think this is actually a perfect time to stop the episode where we are. So I'm going to uh, end it here. And then I will do a same stage, and whenever I come back to do some more episodes, then we'll, we'll play some more on Candy Constellation. But, uh, thank you guys for watching. This is episode two. Uh, please come back for more. I'm, this, I'm a huge fan of this game. Super nerd on Kirby. So, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it, but, uh, thank you very much. Enjoy your, enjoy your day.